I haven't talked to my father since the divorce. He has his own family now, and me and my mother remain. Family portrait that shattered when it tried to smile. Immigrant mama's boy grown into sensitive man today. She is alone. In this small apartment in Hawaii, still calls me JJ, and her four and a half foot Filipino voice wants to tell me about the food she bought at the market, tells me she got the Kama Aina discount on bitter melon in a way that says, I don't say I love you enough. And she, uh, she calls about the weather, as if we were both huddled underneath the same umbrella in a storm, a barong. Is a Filipino embroidered shirt worn at special events, and I'm positive. When my mom talks to me, she imagines I am 10 years old again in a barong, left hand clutching X-Men action figures, last of my baby teeth coming out. My mom wants to tell me every lesson she's learned. She wants to protect me from all the evil in this world, like racism, drunk drivers, and the stupid white girls with the fancy purses you can get at the swap meet. <laughs> she speaks to me like I'm being Bible verse to the truth. So when she asks me how I'm doing, I want to avoid the question. I tell her I'm all right, but she knows better. Knows the conversation has turned confessional, and I confess I haven't been good. That I'm sad for no reason, that I will stay in bed and sleep and cry and clutch my pillow like it's the only evidence I was here because I'm drowning in a body, screaming, I give up each time I take a breath. I tell her I'm depressed, and I can hear my mom choke up like she wants to run away from this stranger's voice that used to be her baby boy. She tells me to stop talking about it, but I don't know if it's her culture speaking in tongues or her faith being challenged. She pulls out her imaginary nursing degree and says, there's nothing wrong with me. So she prescribes two pills of judgment before every meal. And I wanna tell her, I just need to talk to someone about the really bad days where I feel nothing and everything at the same time that I wish it were so easy to snap out of it. And now now, I just want to give the conversation Alzheimer's, amnesia my depression like the ex who walked away because she said I wasn't making her happy enough. Find someone who will listen and stay and understands that lonely is a place full of cold, sharp objects and I'm bleeding from the inside, but, but I'm talking to my mom. I, uh, I changed topics. Tell her the poncet noodles I bought last night were missing something. <laughs> Take a second to clear my throat because my mom needs me to be 10 years old again. So uh, I take a deep breath, grab her hand with my voice, and straighten up the picture of the perfect family that was never really there, just like the American dream.